Along the Sea of Japan coast of western Honshu lies Japan's Sanin region. This mystical land that is synonymous with Japan's creation mythology is home to a number of revered shrines and temples, as well as an abundance of stunning natural scenery. Unconnected to the rest of the country by bullet train, the Sanin region retains an atmosphere that contrasts greatly with that of Japan's bustling big cities, and is the perfect place for those wishing to get a taste of traditional Japan. And this is exactly where we're going. I'm Sam Evans, staff writer for japanguide.com, and over the next few days I'll be traversing this extraordinary area to experience a different side of Japan. Here's the plan. We'll fly from Tokyo to the Sanin region. The main attraction for day one will be the famous Izumo Grand Shrine and beautiful nearby coastline. On day two, we head east to Adachi Art Museum and its celebrated garden before ending in Matsue City where we'll explore the castle. On our third and final day, we continue east to Mount Daisen, which is the tallest mountain in the region and is home to the important hillside temple Daisenji. So follow along as we experience traditional Japan in the Sanin region. Day 1 Upon landing at Izumo Airport, we'll pick up our rental car and head over to the exalted Izumo Grand Shrine in Izumo City. Following this, we'll take a scenic drive along the coastline to Cape Hinomisaki and take in the stunning views from the top of Hinomisaki Lighthouse. On our drive back, we'll make a stop at Inasa Beach before continuing to Tamatsukuri Onsen Town, where we'll end the day with a meal and a bath in a traditional ryokan. This is Izumo Taisha, often considered to be the oldest shrine in Japan and certainly one of the country's most important. Now this beautiful shrine has deep ties with Japan's creation mythology. So we've just left Izumo Taisha and now we're on our way to Cape Hinomisaki. So this is Cape Hinomisaki, known for its beautiful views of the ocean and its really tall lighthouse. We're going to check out this area and then we're going to go and check out Inasa Beach before staying the night at Tamatsukuri Onsen, a traditional hot spring town. So we've arrived at our ryokan in Tamatsukuri Onsen and now we're going to enjoy a nice dinner, a hot bath, Psh, what a perfect end to an amazing day of travelling. Day 2 Today we'll start bright and early with a visit to Yaigaki Shrine before heading on to Adachi Art Museum and its beautiful landscape garden. Come afternoon, we'll make our way up to the city of Matsue, where we'll explore the historic Matsue Castle and finish with a delicious seafood feast in a nearby popular restaurant.
So we've arrived this morning at Yaigaki Shrine and out back they have this special mirror pond. Now at this mirror pond they have an interesting custom where people put a coin on top of this special piece of paper and then lay it on the pond's surface. And the amount of time it takes for the coin and the paper to sink signifies how much time it will take for that person to find their soulmate. So this is the Adachi Museum of Art, which was established in 1980 as a fusion between the founder's passion for Japanese garden design and art. The complex is best known for its award-winning garden, which can be enjoyed all year round. So let's go and check it out. Now we're en route to Matsue Castle, uh, one of only 12 castles in the country whose main keep has survived since the feudal era. Uh, one of the best ways to explore the castle is through a boat tour in the castle's moat. Day three. Our final day will see us drive to Yasugi Kiyomizu Temple for some traditional Buddhist experiences led by a monk, before continuing on to the snow-capped Mount Daisen. After making our way around Daisenji Temple, the mountain's main temple, it's back to the airport where our trip will come to an end. Uh, so we're on our way to Yasugi Kiyomizu Temple, uh, a hillside Buddhist temple that offers visitors the chance to participate in such experiences as sutra copying and meditation guided by a Buddhist monk. Daisenji Temple, where we are now, is located on Mount Daisen, the tallest mountain in the entire Chugoku region. Now, from this temple, visitors can join the trailhead to hike to the summit of the mountain. And that concludes our exploration of the Sanin region. Thanks for joining me. I hope this video has been enjoyable and perhaps even inspired some ideas should you decide to plan a trip in the area. For more information about the Sanin region or to watch another video, click the links on the screen now or head over to japanguide.com, your comprehensive, up-to-date travel guide, first hand from Japan. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell for more videos about Japan. Happy travels.